Good morning. I'm Jan Cope, Provost to the Cathedral, and it's my joy to welcome you to our service this morning on Thursday, October 14th. It is the feast day of two missionaries to Asia, Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheraschewski, scholar, translator, and bishop, and Channing Moore Williams, missionary to Asia. Let us pray. Lord God, you've brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect for this feast day. O God, who in your providence called Joseph Sheraschewski and Channing Moore Williams to the ministry of this church and gave them the gifts and the perseverance to translate Holy Scriptures, inspire us by their example and prayers to commit our talents to your service, confident that you uphold those whom you call through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our passage for today is from the Gospel of Luke, the 24th chapter, beginning at the 44th verse. Then Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The first man that we remember today, Joseph Sheraschewski, was born in Lithuania. He went to Germany to study to become a rabbi. While there, some Christian missionaries apparently persuaded him to go a different way and he became a Christian. And upon becoming a Christian, he emigrated to America, trained for the priesthood, and was sent to China by the Episcopal Church, where he devoted himself to translating the Bible into Mandarin Chinese. He was elected Bishop of Shanghai, founded St. John's University, and then began translating the Bible into Wenli, which is the classical Chinese style of writing. He developed Parkinson's disease and was paralyzed. So he resigned his position as bishop, but that didn't stop him. He continued the translation, even to the point when he could only move one finger and the last 2,000 pages of its translation, he did with the one working finger that he had. What an extraordinary witness and commitment to opening up the good news of Christ to the people of China. Before his death in 1906, he said, quote, I've sat in this chair for over 20 years. It seemed very hard at first, but God knew best. He kept me for the work for which I am best fitted." End quote. The second person we remember today, Channing Moore Williams, was born in Richmond, Virginia. And he too was sent to China by the Episcopal Church where he was ordained a priest in 1857. Two years later, he was sent to Nagasaki, Japan and was in 1866 consecrated the Bishop of China and Japan. 
He decided that the two countries were too much. And as you heard previously, Joseph Cherchewski was consecrated the Bishop of China. And so he concentrated on Japan. He went to Tokyo where he founded what is now St. Paul's University. And he helped to unite several mission efforts in the formation of the Holy Catholic Church in Japan. And as his health failed, he asked to be relieved of his position, but he carried on his work in Kyoto, helping to open new mission stations. He spent the last two years of his life back in America. The commitment of these two men, even after their health failed, to continue the work God had given them to do and had given them the gifts to do is an extraordinary witness for us. Today, I think so many around the world take for granted the translation of the Bible. Researchers say that the full Bible has been translated into over 700 languages. When you add to that translations solely of the New Testament or portions of the Bible, the number of languages to which the Bible has been translated exceed 3,400. What an extraordinary achievement. It's fair to say that these two men help open up China to the good news of the resurrected Christ. I've had the privilege of preaching in Hong Kong on three different occasions two times in a service that was in Chinese. And so the experience of having my sermon, which I confess I speak about three words of Chinese, one instance being simultaneously translated into Chinese and then the other uh, after huge sections, is an extraordinary experience. And it begs a question for me, how do people see the Bible translated in the way we live our lives? It's purported that St. Francis said, preach the gospel at all times, and when necessary, use words. For you and for me, looking at the examples like these two men, if we were on trial as Christians, would the evidence convict you and me? This day we give thanks for those who've gone before in missions all across the globe to share the good news and to translate the scriptures, not just in the languages of the countries, but to show forth with their own lives how to preach the gospel. Again, let it be so for you and for me. Amen. And now will you join me in the prayer our Savior Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>